Hi, I'm starting my adventure with aviation today, FA-18C version in 1 to 72 scale from Academy. All moldings are secured in foil, so I decided not to wash them with soap and water this time. I've started, as the instructions shows, uh, from assembling the cockpit. I cut out the main elements of the pilot chair, boards or control stick. Then, as usual, I thoroughly leveled and grind all parts. I have to admit that I feel a little stress assembling a plane, I've never done it before and I wasn't sure if the order in the instructions is right. Therefore I decided to prepare the elements that in my opinion uh, should uh, be assembled and painted first. The time has come for the first uh, model airbrush painting. As a primer I used grey Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500, diluted with uh, Mr. Leveling Thinner in a proportion of about 1 to 2. I mix the paints with the thinner in a small container. and then poured it into airbrush. I set the pressure on the compressor about 20 psi and I've painted uh, the prepared elements. After about 20 minutes the primer dried, I changed the paint to 317 grey and painted the inside of the hull and cockpit. For faster change of paints and uh, thorough mixing of them inside the airbrush, I started using a stopper, thanks to which painting with different paints goes much faster. The pilot's chair and basically the seat and the backrest, according to the instructions, are painted in khaki color 55. And the chair frame itself is matte black with the number 33. The seat painted in airbrush was too uniform in my opinion, so I decided to work with a brush a bit. I painted the elements of the board with black. And then mark the shifters and switches with uh, red and white. I also painted the seat belts. I decided to make this model without any additions, however I am sure that in the future I will definitely replace these belts. In my opinion it could look much better. I've assembled the whole chair. and started uh, gluing the hull elements.
As you can see, the matching of the elements is not perfect. I tried to eliminate uh, some of these imperfections by applying extra thin glue. In some places, I will definitely have to use putty. Comparing to my previous model from Tamiya, I have to admit that the Academy model is worse in this aspect. At the bottom of the hull, I made two holes as per instructions. I used a 0.5mm drill. The lower part of the hull near the chassis needs more minor corrections. You need to get rid of uh, several plastic parts. I cut them out uh, thoroughly with uh, pliers and a knife and then sanded uh, them evenly. At the end I also made lines uh, dividing the sheets using a knife. I started gluing individual elements of the aircraft uh, fuselage. Some of them I had to grind a bit to make them fit properly. I cut and prepared other elements that I want to paste before painting the entire hull. Before applying the decals to the board and the pilot chair, I applied a clear gloss varnish. And with white, I painted the elements of the plane's chassis. I'm not telling you the proportion of paints because I began to mix them rather by eye. I think that uh, this is the best method to learn how to react to what effect we get and what we really expect. Summing up, almost all paints I thinned in a ratio of about 3 to 1, so 3 parts of thinner for one part of paint. The pressure is about uh, 15 to 20 psi. I decided to make small scratches on the elements of the chair. Then I pasted the elements that will be hidden under the canopy and I wanted to paint them before assembling the cockpit. I've also pasted the side fuselage elements, painted in white near the chassis. The varnish has dried, so let's deal with decals. I cut out all the necessary pieces. 
and as usual using the microset and microsol liquids I started placing them on the elements of the model. While pasting the decals I was very careful, you can say more than usual because I've heard the opinion that the decals from cartograph can be very fragile and hard to work with. To be honest I haven't had much difficulty with it at least until now. The decals are a bit softer than the ones I've used so far, however in my case the whole operation went smoothly without any losses. As you can see the board with decals looks much better. I also applied the decals to the side panels next to the pilot seat. After application of microsole the effect looks as follows and after it has dried it nicely matched the shape of the panels. I also applied the decals to the sides of the chair. With a precise brush I marked the small details on the panels. I also made small scratches on the control stick and then proceeded to assemble the entire cockpit. All parts under the canopy must be black, therefore I started masking the model. I have also prepared a head-up display, so-called HUD. It allows the presentation of information without obstructing the view. I pasted masked HUD display using Humbrol's uh, clear fix glue. The advantage of this glue is that after drying it's completely transparent, it doesn't leave marks on the model. Therefore it's perfect for gluing transparent elements such as uh, windows or canopies. I've painted the whole cockpit with uh, semi-matte clear varnish. and the masked part of the hull was painted in flat black. This is how the cockpit looks after the varnish dries. I have to admit that as for the first plane cockpit I made, I am quite happy. I removed the masking tape from the model. Painting came out very well. The hat doesn't look bad either. To sum up, I made cockpit and prepare some hull elements. Using airbrush has significantly improved the painting quality. I'm very pleased with it. That's all for today. In the next episode, the FA18 assembly will continue. Stay tuned, take care, and see you soon. Bye.